Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. What if I told you that you could get your Anycubic Ace Pro to recognize any spool of filament for just 59 cents a spool, and all you need is a cell phone? Well we can, thanks to some extremely cheap RFID stickers and some open source tools. So let's jump in. Anycubic released their Ace Pro along with their Cobra 3 series of printers. It is a 4 spool filament holder that enables multicolored 3D prints, filament backup features, and is also a filament dryer. But in order to function, the Ace Pro needs to know what material and color is loaded into each slot. You can enter that information manually, but Anycubic's own filament stores that information on RFID tags on the spools themselves. When you load in a spool, the fins between slots 1 and 2, and between slots 3 and 4, will read the tag as it rotates past the fin. This reads the material, color, and other metadata from the tag, and automatically configures the printer with that information. We can see here that the first slot can't be edited, since the printer knows what's in there. But for the other slots, I had to manually edit the material and color. But thanks to DNG Craft, they provided a very simple tool for writing your own RFID tags. Their GitHub is linked below with all of the project details. All you need are some extremely cheap RFID stickers, either Ultralight C, NTAG213, or NTAG215 tags. These are NTAG213s. I'll have linked to these in the description if you want to pick them up. Then all you need is an Android phone with NFC capabilities. That is almost any Android phone these days. If you don't have an Android phone, then you can also use a USB-powered RFID RFID writer like this one, also linked in the description, or use an Arduino controlled RFID writer. But the easiest is definitely an Android phone. So install the ACE RFID app from the Google Play Store. This simple app lets you read and write the ACE specific RFID tags. As you can see here, if I hover my phone over the official Anycubic filament, it can detect the tag, and when we read the tag, we see that this is the PLA filament in the gray color. So we can read any tag. And now comes the fun part. We can write our own tags simply by selecting the material type, the weight of the spool, and selecting the color, either with one of the pre-selected colors, or selecting from the color spectrum, or by entering the hex value ourselves. Then we hover the phone over the tag, and we can write to it. Then if we hover back over it, we can read that data. Neat. These tags have an adhesive backer, so it's easy to peel off and stick onto the spool. To make sure the tag works in any slot of the Ace Pro, you need one RFID sticker per side. Otherwise, slots 2 and 3 won't work reliably. We can see this on the official Anycubic spool. There are separate tags on each side. They have different tag IDs. So let's write our custom tag. Simply stick an RFID sticker onto both sides of the spool. Then in the app, select the material type, spool size, and color. And once you are ready, place your phone over the tag and press write. Flip the spool over and write the same to the second sticker. And we're done! And now we place the spool into the Ace Pro and load the filaments. And that tag rotates in front of the reader and it automatically appears in the Ace menu. And we can do the same for different materials. For this role, I selected PETG and the color black. And when I load the spool into the Ace Pro, we see that it correctly selects the PETG filament. So let's see how quickly you can add these to all of your rolls of filament. It took just seconds to place the two stickers on each spool. And then the longest part was selecting the color. You can select a color that's close enough, or find the right hex color code for your color. But writing the tag also takes seconds. Just be sure to write the tag on both sides. And once we're done, we can double check by reading the tags in the app. It all looks good to me. So let's load them into the printer. As I load each spool, we can see that the Cobra 3 V2 correctly identifies the material type and color. This is awesome. And now let's jump into the slicer. Within the Anycubic slicer next, we can see our newly loaded spools in the workbench. It shows the material and colors in each slot. And then within the slicer, when we sync the filament from the Ace Pro, we see those colors update and it will select the right profile for each spool. The list of material types in the app corresponds to the built-in material profiles in the slicer, so those will sync correctly. And now you can pull in your multi-material model and use your custom filament. This makes working with the Ace Pro so much more convenient. And this works with any Ace Pro model, so whether you have the Anycubic Cobra 3, Cobra 3 V2, Cobra 3 Max, or Cobra S1, these custom RFID tags will work in all of them. And if you want to learn more about any of these printers, you can watch my detailed reviews of them where I go over all of the details. But spoilers, these printers are amazing. Turning back to the RFID tags, I purchased 50 of these NTAG213 tags for $15.99. Since each of these spools needs two tags, that's 25 spools, which turns out to be 64 cents per spool. That is extremely cheap. And technically, these tags can be reused, 
although I don't know how many times you'd be able to stick and unstick them. And if you don't have an Android phone, you can look at DNG Craft's GitHub page for code for Arduinos and Windows computers. I purchased this USB connected RFID writer for only 38 US dollars, and the workflow is basically the same as seen here. But the Android phone is definitely the most accessible way of writing these custom tags. So thank you all for watching, and thank you to DNG Craft for sharing all this work and creating the custom apps. Everyone go check him out. He has a number of other 3D printing related projects, including the same custom RFID code for Creality's CFS system. So leave a comment if you found this useful, if just for the sake of YouTube engagement. And thank you all for watching, I'll see you all next time.